Alright everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're cracking back into the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. We're at number 60. His name is Jack Ham. There ain't much to the name, but I'm sure there'll be more to the person. Now, what I'll do is I'll get the screen recorder going. I've just finished a night shift, guys, so forgive me if, uh, if I do stutter a little bit. Um, I'm about to go to sleep, actually. We've got work to do. Let's do it, Jack Ham. You know, two ways, both both prongs of the game. I gotta go with a hammer. The hammer. <laughs> Jack Ham. Known as the Steel Curtain, the defense is a big part of Pittsburgh's balance of power. I've heard about the Steel and Curtain. And boasts a potential all-pro product from nearby Penn State, number 59, Jack Ham. A son of Western Pennsylvania, Hall of Fame linebacker. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> iron in Pittsburgh Steel. He's looking. Ham's career was a monument to quiet greatness. His textbook tackles were the steady drumbeat in a defense better known for its heavy metal flair. Joe Green and Jack Lambert. It's just like nobody intimidates us. We're the intimidators. That was a little Jack bad. Lambert. That's the one. That's the one that I was thinking of. I thought he reminded me of that guy, Jack Lambert, with no teeth. But this is Jack Han. It's, a, it's more of a mood cell, but it's a beautiful cell. Hammer just comes in all smooth with a dinty more beard. Plays the best outside linebacker ever, but it's not a big sell, nor did he ever want it to be. Steeler defensive coordinator Woody Woodenhofer called him the best damn outside linebacker who ever played. Nobody argued. The best outside I've linebacker that ever times played. In the last couple of weeks. Do you remember the greatest game Jack Ham ever played? I can't. Jack never played a bad game for us. He had 10 11 tackles, he blocked, he blocked a punt. He had an intercepted pass, he recovered a fumble because he was hustling. He was always consistent. So he's in the pro he's in the Football Hall of Fame, I assume. Every single one of these top 100 guys should be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Although, if they're still playing, then they can't be, right? Jack Ham. The hammer. Jack Hammer Ham. Consecutive trips to the Pro Bowl and help the Steelers pummel their way to four Super Bowl championships. Four Super Bowls. Ham's 32 career interceptions are third all time among linebackers. I really love the passing game. I love the man man coverage and play the tight end or back out of the backfield, trying to make plays down the field. His coverage is just like, what happened there? And you watch the replay and go, Ham got the hand in there. Unbelievable. What happened there? Ham tripped him up. What happened there? Ham was blitzing, dropped back, and the coverage guy had to float the ball. I remember Dr. J once, they asked him what he wanted to exude most in his career. He said, I never wanted to appear small. And he didn't mean height-wise. I never saw Hammer look small. Alpha, huh? whole career might as well have been one big good play just a solid player always hustling like his coach said live days you need your carvies you need your guys to step in and just stripe it in the stargell lab and then you need your phil hartman glue seamless gene hackman <laughs> reminds me of jack lambert big time <laughs> it's just always so good <laughs> Forget isolating anything wrong with it. It just is. That's the performance. He looks like probably about 6'3 and like 200 and... I don't know, 220? He doesn't look big at all. But we are going to look him up. Jack Hammerham. Jack R Raphael Ham Jr. Born December 23rd, 1948, is a former American football outside linebacker who played for the Steelers from 71 to 82. He is considered one of the greatest outside linebackers in the history of the game. 
He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1988 and the College Football Hall of Fame in 1990. Six foot one, 225 pounds. He's 69 years of age. He went pick number 34 in the 1971 draft, which was in the second round. A one-team player. He won four Super Bowls, which is insane. 9, 10, 13, and 14. Eight Pro Bowls. What an absolute legend. Look at his, what are his stats like? His career statistics include 25 sacks, 21 fumble recoveries, 32 interceptions. Although the sack numbers are unofficial since the NFL did not begin recording sacks until Ham's final year in the league. So officially he has just three. As these numbers indicate, he had a flair for the big play, guided by some of the best football instincts ever found in a linebacker. He was a member of four Super Bowl winning teams during his 12 year career. His 53 takeaways are the most in NFL history by a non-defensive back, while his 32 interceptions rank him third of all time among linebackers, behind Don Shinnick and Stan White. Dobre Shanka, either Polish or Slovak for good ham, was Ham's nickname while playing, was Ham's nickname while playing, as well as the name of Ham's fan club in the 1970s. Dobre Shanka. He retired from football in 82, began a career as a radio personality. He served as a colour commentator for national radio broadcasts of NFL games and later hosted a show in Pittsburgh with Mark Madden during the NFL season. He's currently a sports analyst for Penn State Radio Network and also appears as an analyst on the Westwood One Radio Network. Huh. In 2017, he became an advocate of medical marijuana. Having studied the benefits of relieving symptoms related to playing football and wants the NFL to soften their stance on the use of marijuana in general. Ham felt inspired after seeing the cognitive decline of contemporary Nick Bonasotti, as well as other current and former players including former teammate Mike Webster, despite Ham being himself healthy. He also believes medical marijuana would help counter the ongoing opioid epidemic affecting society as a whole. And I would have to agree with that. I would have to agree with that for sure. All right. Well, that was it. Jack Raphael Ham Jr. What a legend. If you have enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, if you want to support the channel, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, do that too. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.